now with that, we move ahead to our next keynote speaker session, which is on power to make a positive change and to deliver the same. Please join me in welcoming to our screens, Ms. Tandani Chatterjee, Chief Marketing and Communications Officer, PwC. Thank you, Aditya. So all of you, thank you very much for calling me here, my comms colleagues, uh, young aspiring professionals whom we're going to be seeing later today. It's an absolute honor to address all of you on the third annual E4M PR and COPCOM 30 Under 30 Awards for 2023. And we are gathered here this evening to celebrate the brightest young talent that our industry has. And I'm really grateful to E4M, uh, Dr. Anurag Batra, the Chairman, Editor-in-Chief B-World, and uh, Mr. Nawal Ahuja, the co-founder of E4M, and of course, Karan Bhatia, who really does so much for all of us, that they are indeed truly committed to recognizing exceptional PR and comms talent, uh, which is what we've been seeing over here. And for the past three years, the E4M, as you know, has been shining a spotlight on our young talent and who, has, who have been demonstrating exceptional skills, you know, exceptional creativity. I'm seeing innovative approaches and at the end of the day, strategic thinking, which is what Hindu was also talking about. And I had the privilege of co-chairing the jury for the awards this year along with Dr. Anurag Batra. And it allowed me to witness how our emerging leaders are proving that age is no barrier, absolutely no barrier when it comes to addressing complex communication challenges. And we're looking at even all of you who are on the panel, who are like all youngsters, it's great to hear the kind of strategic thinking that is now there, which I can, which I'm hearing you all have. The recipients of this year's awards, um, I feel they're not merely leaders of tomorrow, they are actually trailblazers of today. And they're reflective of the super high potential that we have in, as far as comms talent is concerned in our country. Let me take a step back for a moment. And maybe you had this in the morning also, there could have been some discussions on this. And I guess you will agree that our world today is facing some if I may call them interesting challenges, you know, right from geopolitical conflicts, socioeconomic issues, threats to our environment, tech related risks like cybersecurity, data privacy. I mean, all of them, all of these have a potential to impact the reputation of our organizations. And in addition, there is a long list of complex regulatory and legal compliances that the business world today needs to abide by. And we are there for business, you know, so it impacts us as well. And then what we were discussing a while ago comes social media, where anyone can get up and make or break the reputation in a matter of minutes. So this is what I feel that this is where the PR and comms professionals come in. You know, we are right at the forefront, helping our organizations navigate these challenges, these very complex situations. And for doing this effectively, we need to equip ourselves so that we are able to anticipate these reputation risks, which I just spoke of. We can provide relevant, sharp, and timely communication to our shareholders, help the employees in our organizations to understand and embrace change. Just one second, sorry, I'm getting some pings over here. Okay, I don't know what was that. Uh, understand and embrace change, like I said, and most importantly, align with business objectives. You know, at the end of the day, we are all there because we have a purpose to serve, which is to support business. And it is then and only then that we will be able to achieve our role, which is of protecting our company's image, firstly, our company's reputation and minimizing any disruption for business. Now, to be able to do this well, what do you need? 
you know, I think first and foremost is an understanding of the ecosystem around us. This is the most important thing. It is essential for joining the dots and being able to counsel our stakeholders. You know, Steve Jobs' definition of creativity, and you may be familiar with this, it was not conjuring something new out of nowhere. It was about connecting the dots, and which means that one needs to equip oneself with existence of those dots so that one knows what to connect and when. And today, communication isn't just about conveying a message. You know, it is also, and I'm sure you'll agree, it's also about shaping narratives. It's about building relationships. And most importantly, it is about fostering trust. And we, we, the PR and communications fraternity, we are in a position through effective communication to inspire others to be catalysts for the change. You know, we can play that role, that very important role in driving social change. It is we, the PR and comms fraternity, who have the power to do all of this. And nowhere, nowhere is it more evident than in the accomplishments of these brilliant individuals, the 30 under 30, whom we will be recognizing today. You know, these young achievers, they've harnessed the power of social media, the power of digital platforms, data analytics, and what we saw in their, what their entries were, they have crafted compelling narratives, they've engaged their audiences, they've been driving conversations that matter. And their ability, to seamlessly merge creativity with strategy, um, technology with human connections sets them apart. And the future of PR and corporate communications is in the hands of these dynamic individuals and many more like them who are today being groomed in the industry by you and by me. And I'm sure they will make us proud and their fresh perspectives will definitely go a long way in shaping our fraternity's evolution in the years to come. I'm sure, pretty sure actually, that behind every accomplishment of our young talent lies a journey of hard work, a journey of dedication and resilience. And when we honor these exceptional young professionals, let us also acknowledge their mentors, their people managers, their colleagues, and even their families who would have nurtured their talent and encouraged their growth. And frankly, in my experience, success is usually very difficult without this unwavering support. So to all the winners who are going to be announced, congrats on your well-deserved recognition. And your journey has just begun, and I'm sure many more milestones await you. Do continue to embrace every opportunity to learn and grow. And I hope we will continue to see you pushing boundaries and inspiring others. And thanks to all who've joined in today to be a part of the celebration. I look forward to us continuing to champion the spirit of innovation and collaboration and doing whatever it takes to drive our industry forward. Thank you. Thank you, Nandini, for inspiring us. As always, you concluded it five minutes early for the prescribed time. But yeah, and such an honor to have you as a jury chair. Today happens to be a special day to about 30 odd people and they are anxiously waiting. They log in about 4 p.m. onwards. So I know you already have a busy schedule because you're attending another event. So if you can make it for some time, it will be great. I will Come back again in the middle after some time. Yeah, yeah. So look forward to see you. In the meanwhile, since we are a little early, we can just invite uh, the panelists right now and see. But thank you, Nandini. Look forward to meet you soon in Delhi. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Karan, for inviting me. Thank you. Okay.